my name is Estela and I'm here in Sydney in one of the most famous beaches, Bondi Beach. Today we have a great interview with Pep, he is the director of the Bondi Beach Live World Club. I think the location is what makes this place so good and so famous because we are only 20 minutes from the city. The space that we have, the shape of the beach that allows for a lot of different activities to happen all the time. You can do a lot of things in Bondi Beach. You can come down and go for a swim, you can surf, you can run along the beach, you can use any, any sort of craft to go in the water, anything related with the water. You can sunbathe, you can socialize. It is a really dangerous beach. The ocean can get really, really wild. We have waves that can get really, really big, more than 10, 15 foot waves. You have to be really aware of your skills. And you have to be aware of how dangerous the ocean is. You always need to respect the ocean and follow the rules. If you come for a swim, you have to swim between the flags. And if you come for a surf, you have to surf in the allocated areas for surfing. Mm -hmm. If you follow the rules and you listen to the lifeguards and the lifesavers, you'll be safe in here. There's a lot of rescues going on. There's a lot of things happening every day. Normally, during patrolling hours, the rescues we've got, we just pull people out of the water that might be drowning. My team has been involved in a couple of CPR situations where people just lost consciousness and we have to practice CPR and lucky enough these people left the beach alive. Probably the most difficult rescues going on here in Bondi is, is because of the, the fishermen that they get stuck in the rocks or some boats that might have accidents during, along the cliff. And then we have to send our team to, to these rescues. These are probably the most difficult rescues. Don't miss this edition of Speak Up to find out more.